Hi, and welcome back. In this lesson, I will show you how to customize the execution log to further investigate failed tests and debug. When a test is executed in Calon Studio, the log viewer and console show only necessary information at certain logging levels to keep everything neat and clean. Looking at this, the console only displays certain details at info and debug logging levels. However, in some cases, you need more information to investigate, troubleshoot, or debug your failed test. Or sometimes you want to lessen your logged messages to save resources or reduce the execution time when running a large number of tests. Go to the Include folder, Config, Log Properties. This is the file where you can customize the logging levels in Calon Studio. And to demonstrate, I will use the trace level. It is the deepest level of logs, providing the details of all the activities taking place from both the application and Calon Studio. Even more details than the debug level used by default in Studio. Some other common logging levels you may have heard of include Fatal, for very severe error events. Error, for error events that prevent normal program execution, but might still allow the application to continue running. Warn, for potentially harmful events to end users or system managers. Info, the standard level showing purely informative messages on the progress of the application. Debug, showing the details used by developers to troubleshoot when running the application in test environments. What logging levels to use really depends on your intention. Let's say you want to lessen the log messages. You can add a simple info level command line like logging level test case equals info to this log properties file. Back to our trace logging line, which has already been added here. There's a hashtag indicating that it's currently disabled. Simply delete it to enable the command, save, and then rerun the test case. While the test is running, let's switch the console to see what's happening. So all the activities are being listed out, including the details of the smart wait function being triggered. The behaviors of finding an object, clicking on that object, confirming that object is being clicked on, checking the object, checking timeout, etc. The trace logging level is beneficial when you need a complete detailed process of test execution to investigate the causes and debug. Now, how about the log viewer? It's also affected by the trace command, like the console. In each executed step, all the relevant activities are listed for you to view and troubleshoot your test. That's it for this lesson. In the next one, you'll learn how to set up a video recording for reporting.